the load shedding schedules will definitely be refined. We've just started week one. Mm -hmm. We've just they will definitely be refined. We'll keep engaging the customers to give the best available times for them within the areas of within the locations because that way then you'll be able to attend mm. to the customers this needs. is not the first time yeah. we're experiencing you know load shedding or rush power rushing in zambia mm. why don't we ever you know get it right the inconvenience for the consumers i'm paying for a service and when i plan i'm told uh, this week it's between 10 and uh, 18 hours every day but then it doesn't happen or if it does happen the hours are extended and the communication from Zesco is very poor why don't we ever get it right Costa what it is is that uh, the Zambian industry is very dynamic um, you can have a clinic <coughs> rising here today next year it's not there the hospital is actually next door to it we do have a lot of those permutations and so to have a blanket plan will not actually fit all so you have to actually attend to the situation as it is that's the best way you can do with it um, for areas which are very well secured I can give an example for example south western side of Lusaka it's very easy that this is an industry it's very easy to come up with understanding with the commercials there big places like Chilanga cement or Zambia sugar very easy because dedicated supply it's very very easy to actually get into an agreement um, to indicate for example you can have a house today a very good residential house tomorrow it's actually a semi-clinic and so you have to attend to it mm -hmm. so it, the dynamics are always changing it's not always the same